Salem, Connecticut. I drive a 1989 CRX HF that I acquired a little over a year ago. It was a rolling shell. Um, it had interior, it wasn't in it. No motor. Rock free body. Rocker panels, quarter panels, everything was original. Faded paint and things. It's all I had to really repair. Brand new sheet metal in the front, two front fenders, hood, new front bumper, 91 style rear bumper. Um, we sanded down the car, did a little mud work, okay, primer sanded everything down, shot the engine bay, and uh, I ended up using Daytona Gray from a Audi RS7. That maybe took me three weeks to a month, just a couple hours after work, putting in the time, waiting for the parts to arrive, test fitting everything in the front end, getting everything to the line. Uh, EDM, driver's seat, that actually came out. Uh, I sourced a 91 style SI passenger seat to match the driver's seat. Got a carpet, full SI interior, door panels, dash, rear interior. The process is getting wire tucked. I'm not really a big fan of it just because of any kind of electrical failure. I gotta go crazy. So I put everything back to stock and ran the whole body harness. I acquired a full B16A SIR motor, a long block, no trans. And so I disassembled the entire engine, sent the block to Jeff Morgano at CSS. Um, I highly recommend him. You don't want to spend bigger bucks on sleeving and keeping it at a decent you know street level power or a good track car css is the way to go so i got the block back and i was in the process of you know, ordering the rest of the parts and, you know people were asking me too why don't you why are you using a b16 why don't you go b20 well we all know you can get a b20 to go fast there's plenty of people who do it but me wanting to use CSS, I still didn't. I, I, I wasn't satisfied with what possibly could happen because of the weak sleeves. So B16 being original to the car overseas, I just wanted everything time correct. So uh, I then acquired the Manly Turbo Tuck rods, ACL brace bearings for the rods and the crank, uh, CP91 piston, and all my measurement work, put the whole bottom end together. Brand new OEM Tegra Type R oil pump and water pump. Uh, used a JE Pro Seal head gasket, and the motor was bored 20 over. I had uh, Big Al at ENG Machine in Wallingford do all my uh, machine work, boring, decking. And the head consists of, again, a B16 head. 98 specs, hyper type R cams, super tech 100 pound valve springs, dual valve springs, uh, titanium retainers, premium keepers, OEM size valves, and uh, put the whole thing together. And it was, it was mind blowing. I mean, I put motors together, but not really in this depth, and especially for my own. So I got a uh, you know, twin disc clutch. Put the clutch in it, fly a little. I use an LS Trans, and again, something that people tell me to you know, steer away from, V16, GSR, you know, shorter gears, but I also want to be the guy that if a Lamborghini or a Ferrari is on the side of me on, you know, in Mexico, that I can do 150, 160, 170, top of the car up. I didn't want to be limited. I didn't want to be at 9,000 RPMs in fifth gear doing 130 miles an hour or whatever the case. Everything together, dropped it in the car over the winter. I forget exactly when, maybe it was March, April, around that time frame. One of my biggest influence, and I'm, I'm tying it into where the first time I turned the key, but one of my biggest influences with cars in general and me being an auto body refinisher was my grandfather. I mean, I bought my first car in 2003, which was an EF, it was an EF four-door. And he told me, you know, you should really learn to do body work. 
pays good, it's a good trade to get into. Because no matter what, if they come out with flying cars or if they're on the street, there's going to be collisions. The work is always going to be here. And um, I unfortunately lost them April 27th of 2013. So everything I'm doing now is 100% dedicated to that man because some people say if it wasn't for this person, I wouldn't be here. But no, 100% every aspect of my life. If it wasn't for that man, I have no idea what I would be doing right now. It hurts my heart that he's gone. And I want to be selfish and keep him here, but I, I lost him to cancer. He's pain free now. That aspect it really hit me. My life changed. All of my life changed. That it happened. But the night I had the motor in the car, and I put everything together, and I heard that fuel pump prime. I looked up, I'm like, it's now or never, let's make it happen. Hoping that my grandfather would be on my side. And with not one issue at all, I cranked that key, and fired as smooth as could be. It didn't leak, there was no smoke. I went into a couple issues afterwards, just fixing out bugs but the motor was as strong as it could be and I had no problems with it. So after that, I almost cried. I couldn't believe I did it. I thanked that man and it was game time. Of uh, the dock race, top, man, top mount manifold, a uh, single tile 44 gate. The turbo is another thing, Abnorm abnormally large for a street car, but go big or fuck it. So I uh, bought a Borg Warner S4 400, 71 millimeter, uh, presser side, 106 side. Uh, and I'm doing all this to try to retain everything. Grilling the front bumper, not raising the hood, not cutting anything. And there was a few people telling me, well, you, you, you're trying to stuff a building into a trash can. It's not gonna work. Well, using the right parts and sourcing around, seeing what other people were doing with different builds. Um, I got it to work. I used the ETS, Eagle Talent, or Eagle Talent based front mount intercooler. It's running on five pounds of boost. Um, patiently waiting to uh, jump on the rollers with the man himself, Jamie Marsh. And uh, I plan on doing a pump gas tune of you know, whatever I can throw at it. Try to have a completely stock looking, which it is, a completely stock looking vehicle from the exterior. Uh, full three and a half inch downpipe to a three inch thermal turbo exhaust, which I was very surprised I still found brand new. Um, that's pretty much it. It's a full interior street animal that you wouldn't even figure what's underneath the hood of that car. And that's exactly what I was going for. CRXs, the, the weight of them, the way they look. It's a car that will never go out of date. been 10 years since I've been in this car driving running I can't believe it this thing is so sweet this dude good job bro